Let's see the puppy. I did blow this uh, off already this uh, earlier this morning when uh, my helper showed up. Uh, she's already working out. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Doggy food! Doggy food! Scoop of good old pebbles! Or pebbles? I don't know, whatever. And there we go. Yeah, I guess she doesn't like to be filmed. Alright. Okay, let me tackle this see all those plugs here uh, that's uh, what we do to keep the called plug uh, block heaters to keep the, oh that's maybe a tricky here okay I'm gonna put it down let's uh, grab the stuff for the day the sandwiches all that good stuff the camera gear gloves Um, GoPro. Hey, you're on camera here. You are on camera. GoPro accessories. Hold back. And the battery for the sprayer, for the liquid sprayer. And that's about it, guys. That's about it. So, just gonna get the backpack blower and the sprayer. It's easier for the engine to start then. And uh, okay, so let's let's. Uh... <laughs>
last property for me anyways work is still out so last property to, to blow up some snow and uh, then I'm going off to the property where we uh, try the um, the sprayer the ice melt sprayer so one big project left so that's gonna be interesting and exciting if it does work so better hang so guys, I stopped for a break, stopped at the Tim Hortons here, and I got a chocolate chunk cookie. Super crispy, crunchy, uh, which I believe leads to the, the assumption that it has been out there for a while and that it's not that popular. Uh, I like the kind of like the softer style cookie a little bit better for, from Tim Hortons. Anyways just a little um, side factor here and then uh, exciting news roll up the rim is back look at that yeah um, if you're not familiar with Tim Hortons and their annual contest well it's not really a contest it's kind of like uh, so what it's all about um, well most likely if you don't want to have an accident with uh, spilling it all over you should empty your cup before you roll up the rim so you have to um, pop the lid open and then basically roll up that top rim and right here where the arrow is and maybe it says a great price so this year they have 40 cars. I think it's a Honda, Honda Civic or something like that. Yeah, Honda Civic uh, TVs, uh, LG 4K, and then they have prepaid uh, credit cards, five thousand dollars, and hundred dollar um, gift card or value card from Tim Hortons, and also millions and gazillions of free coffee and food prices yay so let's see if i can roll up the rim this year and win big i'll let you know crunch crunch okay last property where we gonna test the sprayer again and again so the worker did load off already and you can see there's a ton of tracks here which uh, I want to uh, spray the ice melt on. So let's see how that works out now. Okay, I'm gonna pull the ramp down. We don't need the snow blower today. So put the cones down. Hopefully we don't have to take the sprayer back home again. So I'm gonna put the battery on and I have in the truck here. So the battery should be loaded charged as we say so I'm gonna hook it up here terminals on negative Positive. Put the strap around so we don't have an accident losing it. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so let's take it uh, where the buckets are. The ice melt goes in here, and then we see how it works. Okay, we keep the bucket on the side here. Okay, let's take one of those puppies out. Out. 
And just... doesn't explain why it sometimes won't work. Anyways, we're gonna put the bucket in here and then we're gonna spray where the tracks are so we don't have to scrape it and it will be primed for the next snowfall. All right, let's just do that and I'm excited that we actually have it running. So we applied the calcium chloride, we sprayed it all on. Uh, you can see the little sprinkle dots here, that's uh, from the product. So it's, uh, it needs to do its magic and hopefully it's powerful enough to bite through the snow and the ice and hopefully it will all look like this spot here when, when it's done. So we don't have to scrape it and next time it snows it should be easier to uh, even remove the tracks with the snowblower to scrape off all right so the sprayer works that's awesome we will leave it on the property and just take the battery home and hopefully it works next time so guys, this uh, BR600 uh, gave me some grief today. Didn't want to start at the first property, so uh, I had to yank it and yank it and yank it and yank it and yank it uh, till it would start. Uh, probably got flooded or it got stale fuel in the system. Um, it's puppy time. Then um, finally got running and I kept it running for all of the properties and now I put in uh, some sea foam that stuff I'm not getting paid to say this this is not a paid advertisement but this is quality stuff guys motor treatment so I put a little bit into the gas tank now I gotta get it running um, just tried it wouldn't start so I guess I have to yank out my arm to get it starting and to get the uh, the seafoam additive through the system. Maybe that is it. Who knows? Small engines are uh, a lot of can be a lot of pain sometimes. Anyways, no matter what what uh, model, which brand you have, small equipment is small engine equipment. All right. So let's get this going. I'm always optimistic. And then it is puppy time. All right, folks, the time has come. The, I emptied the coffee here. It was a tiny little bit too cold. Um, which is my fault because I've uh, let it sit for too long. Now, roll up the rim. You see that yellow arrow here? That's where you need to roll up the rim. Some people do it with their teeth like this. I don't because that's gross because you have to return that uh, little thing. And I can tell you already, no luck today because the rim says play again what's up with that 